Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna go over best AMD builds, PC part picker. This is October 2020 edition. So um, right here we have um, first um, option which is uh, around 550 to 600 dollars. This is gonna be your uh, most budget option that will allow you to play bunch of video games and uh, do many tasks actually like streaming some entry-level video editing and uh, for this price you're getting this uh, Ryzen um, 3 3100 processor uh, unfortunately 3300X is still not in stock so you're just gonna end up with this one pairing with this uh, with this ASRock motherboard it's a great motherboard it has two M.2 slots. So you have M.2 slot here and then M.2 slot here. It's decent VRMs, especially for four cores, eight threads processor. Um, yeah, just your basic uh, motherboard. Also, this motherboard has addressable RGB. So you can buy like fans or LED strips and you can connect uh, so I'm here and just gonna create a really nice um, effect. So there is that. All right, so for RAM, we're going with a red colored uh, G Skill um, 2x8 gigabyte DDR4 3600. And uh, reason why is because this is third generation Ryzen, and so um, I'm pairing it with like fast RAM. It's just uh, so RAM's prices are really nice at this point so you get this kit for like $65 so for storage I'm using uh, this uh, 512 gigabyte m.2 um, SSD uh, I think 512 gigabyte is really good option for like for to put your system on if you want to have like a bigger storage for games you can add um, Western Digital, like I recommend Western Digital 2 terabyte hard drive. Um, you can go with Seagate brand, but um, my preference is with Western Digital. And then for video card, so since this is like the most budget option, uh, we're going here with uh, RX 570 4 gigabyte, and this card is really good. Um, so if I go to user benchmark and find uh, RX 570 and we see that it performs like 49% so it's uh, it's ranked like 76 um, out of performance and uh, we can compare this for example with uh, uh, 1650 uh, 1650 super and you can see that um, where is it so right here you can see that um, for 1650 super uh, according to user benchmark we have uh, a score of 58.2 percent and your rx 570 scores like 49 percent and um, 1650 super is like it's considered like the minimum you would want to get uh, for 1080p ultra gaming on pretty much all of the modern games in 2020 so yeah um so rx 570 you can get it for 140 bucks new i would recommend to go used on the video card for this build because this is like the budget build and so i would get maybe used rx 580 or um, gtx 1060 and they're gonna be pretty much the same price. They're gonna be a little, little bit more powerful. My favorite budget case and power supplies are like this Cooler Master Master Box Q300L. Um, it's a great case. I've built uh, in this case before, and uh, it works. It works fine. Um, and um, airflow is great. Um, all the components are like 
good location and it's available it's in stock in many stores so for power supply um i went with with uh evga brand so um you can go with something else but i really like this uh 450 w3 um power supply from vga um so you can see here uh what's important with power supplies is you look at the plus 12 volt rail and uh right here you can see that 450 watt total but you are um they allocate 432 watt towards the um um 12 rail volt which is your uh, GPU so video card right and then these are for processor so you have 100 watt for processor approximately so this power supply is going to be great for video cards that pull even uh, like more current than like RX 570 so um, yeah even though it's 450 watt and then here we have um, Wi-Fi card so I'm including this uh, TP-Link Archer and um, it's AC adapter and um, I think it's Wi-Fi 5 yes it's Wi-Fi 5 protocol so it's pretty fast it'll get you covered for like most of the tasks um, it also has heatsink which is great um, just gives you more stability while using internet um, you don't need to buy this you can buy, get like a USB Wi-Fi or some other brand but I I've been using this for a while and it works great and I love it so I'm just recommending this one here so um, next price point is 630 uh, box so you're going a uh, hundred dollars more and then um, you are getting a little bit of upgrade here so for the processor we go in with um, it's actually not a little upgrade it's so basically you get in two more cores and four more threads with this build and unfortunately the price is like uh for the ryzen processors right now it's kind of high this used to cost like 120 dollars uh now it's 150 so yeah but nevertheless you're getting um still good processor six cores 12 threads um great for entry-level video editing uh, streaming and now for newer games you need more cores and more threads so this processor is definitely a future proof um, same motherboard is a great budget motherboard RAM we have same RAM 3600 uh, megahertz speed for storage we're going to same 512 gigabyte m.2 SSD and video card we're upgrading to 1650 super so same case, same power supply, and same uh, Wi-Fi adapter. So now we're actually jumping quite a bit in price, so it's going to be a jump of $200. And for um, $200 to jump in price, we are getting a really, really good build. I think this build is going to be your best bang for the buck. So... Um, we're getting uh, Ryzen 5 3600 processor. Unfortunately, right now prices for uh, Ryzen processors are high, like I said before, and so $200. It used to cost like $175, so $25 more. Nevertheless, it's it's great. So I'm including this um, cooler with this processor because 3600, a series of processors, the stock cooler is just too loud, so it's better to go and upgrade for something at least uh, like this budget option from Deepcool, um, and it also has LED red LEDs, which is you know Team Red, AMD is Team Red, and the Intel is Team Blue. This cooler is gonna give you better performance cooling wise and uh, noise wise. For motherboard, we're uh, switching to this uh, B550 motherboard from MSI. It's a great board because it has built-in Wi-Fi. And so the price for this motherboard is $110, but the uh, Wi-Fi itself is $30. So you're getting motherboard for 80 bucks pretty much. And this is great. Like um, IO is great. You have one, two, three, four, five, six um, USB slots. Yeah, well, it, well basically it's, it's great for like the build that we're building. And then the heat sinks are 
Okay, well, there is a hit thing, right? Um, M.2 slot. So, yeah, overall, I think this is a great board, um, considering that you can get Wi-Fi in this price range. Um, all right, so we're going to go back. Uh, for the RAM, we're getting um, G-Skill 3600 uh, RAM because um, it works great with uh, Ryzen 3 series processors. And then for storage, we are great upgrading storage option. So now we have um, M.2 uh, 512 gigabyte SSD, and then we add um, two terabyte uh, of uh, just a hard drive storage. So this computer is going to have 2.5 terabyte of storage, which is uh, which is great. It's you're going to store a lot of games on here. You can store a lot of different files, your photos, anything. Um, it's plenty. And then for the video card, we're upgrading to 1660 Super, and I think this is like the best video card for 1080p and 1440p uh, gaming. This this PC is gonna be like really really great all around all rounder PC. Um, okay, so for the case we are upgrading case. So now we are getting uh, this fine tax um, case, and I really recommend this case because it has mesh uh, mesh front uh, side, and um, it's great air it's great for airflow, and uh, I've built. Um, in these cases, P300 series, quite a lot of computers, and I will tell you that the quality of this case is just so good. Um, you get two USB 3.0, separate um, microphone headphones jack. So, yeah, overall, this is a great case. I like the quality. And um, we also have this uh, EVGA um, 450 watt power supply, same one. And uh, it's gonna power the system just fine. The system is probably is, is let's see. So the system power consumption here is 300 watt. So we still have uh, 150 watt um, extra um, extra room using this power supply. So now we are upgrading um, our looks. So um, if you don't really like the case or like you want to uh, invest more to have better looks. So um, I included this one here, and the only thing that I changed is uh, I'm in, I'm using white um, memory sticks. So this is by Crucial, and um, I am also using a case with white seam. So this NZXT case is great. I built in this case before. Um, it's a great quality case. Um, and it's it also looks amazing so yeah so right here we're getting eight cores 12 threads processor so ryzen 7 3700x and then i'm cooling it with a tried and true hyper 212 uh, by cooler master uh, and it's a black edition so it looks really nice and then I am using this um, Asus Prime X570 motherboard in this build. The price of this thing is like so low and VRM quality is so great. Like you're getting really, really good VRM quality with this. You can pair this one with um, uh, 16 cores, 32 threads, a Ryzen uh, 9 3950 uh, X and the VRM is going to be, is going to be fine. It'll, it'll, it'll basically be sufficient for even that processor. So um, you also get this nice white theme um, with this one. And so for the memory, we went with this white Crucial Ballistic uh, RAM kit and it's um, CL16, which is better than uh, 18 or 19, 19 that they had, have usually on this with this speed. And for the storage, we are using uh, 500 gigabyte M.2 NVMe uh, solid state drive, so SSD for your system. And for storage, I'm uh, adding two terabyte of 
um, hard drive storage. For video card, we went with uh, this uh, RTX 2060, and it's a KO from EVGA. With this card, you get uh, support of uh, ray tra tracing. This card also doesn't consume a lot of um, power. And then with case, we went with uh, this uh, N60H500i again. It's a great looking case, uh, matches white seam. Uh, power supply, I'm upgrading power supply for this build to 650 watt, just because we are using um, eight cores, uh, 16 threads processor. And uh, maybe you want to upgrade to something bigger than this in the future, so. For um, Wi-Fi, I'm using this uh, TPE-Link Archer Wi-Fi adapter. So uh, that one is Wi-Fi 5 again, but it's ACE 1300, so it's going to be faster than the model before. So overall, it's it's I, it's a great build for $1,200. It'll get you into video editing. It it'll get you into gaming. So, yeah, I think these are the best options in October 2020. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. And um, if you like it, like it. If you have any considerations, just uh, leave a comment down below. Thank you. Bye.